Good morning, everybody. Andy from 45 North Farm. And uh, coming to you this morning from over at our shed where yesterday we built our rain barrel stands. And um, I was kind of contemplating not doing the plumbing on these until later. Uh, but this morning I took a walk and I noticed the trees are, some of them are starting to change color now. Um, and it got down to about 40 degrees last night. Uh, so for the end of August, Mother Nature's telling me something and uh, I better take heed. I wonder if we're gonna have an early winter this year or not. But So I wanted to jump on this project and uh, get it done and knocked out. That way I don't have to worry about it later on. Um, I can always do other things if it gets colder and uh, I don't wanna be stuck in rain barrels and you know, <laughs> it's 20 degrees out so um, we're gonna get going on this uh, excited about this project and most of the projects we have for some reason I'm excited um, it just uh, makes my life a lot easier so it's a little things in life like rain barrels and, and things to that effect so go over parts list real quick here and uh, we'll dive into this and, and get jamming talk to you in a minute all right so um, I bought a lot of this a while back uh, like I said this has been a long time coming project and basically I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with our rain barrels um, over on the other side there at the homestead so what we have here are uh, bulkhead unions or uh, tank fittings they call it I guess it just depends on, on where you're from and what profession you're in but um, these I'm gonna drill a hole I have uh, I have our hole saw here so I'm gonna cut a hole in those barrels uh, pop this through and then secure it on the inside uh, with these so that's how that works that's what it looks like you know when they're when they're done but um these are fun because you got to climb in head first and um ought to be interesting i got stuck in one of these not too long ago uh, so i'm kind of apprehensive um and then what i do is i'll thread one of these guys in uh, to here to these these fittings here um these lars uh um, uh, sprinkler fittings so um, they're already threaded I'll cut them off to whatever length I need and then uh, we'll attach them here uh, to the middle one's getting a T uh, the one towards the door here's an elbow I got the uh, the unions here uh, because for me I have to tear these apart in the winter time uh, I can't leave it otherwise the ice will rip everything apart uh, when we freeze so uh, usually around mid-December or so is when the temps drop and uh, uh, things get ugly so got to drain all the water and prep that so thinking ahead and then um, on the other end um, I just have a, uh, a ball valve and uh, we'll put that in to help drain everything so got some caulk on the inside I'm just gonna use some silicone caulk uh, make sure everything leaks I don't want to have to climb in here I just want it to be a one and done thing hopefully We'll see how that goes. And then, of course, uh, my primer and cement. So we'll get rocking. That's what we will have here for our parts. And uh, let's get to it. All right, so we got two down and uh, one to go. Um, if you're claustrophobic, don't do this. I'm trying to get in there, <laughs> it's not fun. Um, I just go with one arm first um, and then kind of wiggle my way in. And uh, probably my only advice and tip is to throw everything in the barrel first that you need. Um, that way you don't have to go in and out because it's just, it's probably entertaining to watch. And I know my dog's having fun. That's the other thing. Make sure you have your dog around because they're a big help um, when you're doing things like that, you know, getting in your face, uh, you know, messing with the barrels while you're in it, all that fun stuff. So uh, we got one more to go. We'll get this one knocked out, uh, get these things back up on the stand, and then we'll cut our uh, PVC and uh, get the other uh, fixtures in there. All right, we'll be back in a minute.
All right, so we have our uh, our bulkhead unions in there for uh, uh, tank fittings. Like I said, just depends, I guess, where you come from. And um, that was fun. Uh, if you use those barrels, like mine, uh, they're pickle barrels, so like there's that brine that's in them. I cleaned these things out, mm, I don't know, about four months ago, and uh, it still stinks in there. So I can't imagine if you got these things fresh and uh, unwashed, the smell that you're gonna have in there. So make sure you clean them out. I just use a bleach solution and uh, let them sit out in the sun and open air for a while. It seemed to work out pretty well. Um, so those went in pretty smooth. The last one, it took me a while. Um, of course, you know, there's always got to be one, but uh, started with a cross thread and there's no way for me to uh, to get another tool on that. So um, I was trying with my hands and uh, got in a good fight with it. And in the meantime, the uh, washer fell that had uh, caulk on it. And so, of course, I took a bath in it, but nothing new there. Uh, so we'll get our rest of parts and pieces and uh, get those fit and uh, we'll get jamming with that. Talk to you in a bit. All right, so we got everything mocked up um, to dry fit right now. I'm just gonna go back and uh, clean up a little bit of the uh, shavings and stuff, ream those out, make them look good, and uh, get these things primed and, uh, and uh, put together. And uh, so um, one thing I did forget, I have to put another union, uh, bulkhead union in to uh, the front tank where I can put a spigot in. I didn't do that. Um, I wanted to mock this up to see where exactly that hole needed to be. And uh, so I'll get that knocked out as well. So. Stick around, we'll get this taken care of and uh, wrap this project up here in a minute. Okay, so got the plumbing all in, uh, went smooth. Um, it's all done everything's lined up right uh, real happy with how that turned out just have to get that last uh, bulkhead union in and then um, I'm gonna hit it with some paint and uh, get that everything looking real pretty and uh, get her tied up until we can get to uh, round three for this project which will be hanging the gutters so um, stick around be right back get this thing cleaned up and uh, we'll close this thing out Right, so this project is uh, pretty much wrapped up and uh, got some paint on. You can see we got that in as far as uh, that's where our spigot's gonna go. I don't have everything I need, but we'll take some punch list here and uh, figure out what else I need to finish this up. But uh, we're looking good all the way through here and we got that cleaned up. And uh, so really, Last thing I need now is just going to be get these uh, gutters installed up here on the shed. So, you know, if you're wondering how we're going to get that water, so that water is going to come in from, uh, let me see if I can point here. Oh, camera's not going to work. Uh, but it's going to come down here, and I'm going to have a feed that comes into this barrel. So then, in essence, what happens is this barrel is going to be the feed from the shed, and then it fills along these lines. Um, and then I'm going to take my water from the far left barrel there and uh, utilize that. So the nice thing is uh, a lot of the deposits and all the, the other stuff stay in that first barrel where the feed's going to come. And, um, and then as they fill, the sediment stays there in the second barrel. And usually on that third barrel, the water should be pretty clear and clean, um, especially out here. We're not going to use this to consume, um, obviously, you know, there's no treatment and whatnot, but uh, that's what we're looking at. So very excited uh, really the next steps like I said is to get the, uh, the uh, gutter in and then um, once that's in uh, finagle the downspout which should be too hard I'm just gonna have a drop right there and cut a hole in the top get that downspout in there and then uh, start filling them up so uh, it's looking good 
step uh, round three of this project should be coming up hopefully in a couple weekends. All right, so we got our plumbing done today on our uh, rain barrel system. Um, went really smooth. I was happy how everything turned out. Um, of course, you know, I didn't get stuck in the rain barrel, so that's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's a bad day when that happens. Um, so uh, next step is uh, we'll have a, a, a round three video or an episode three uh, for our rainwater collection system out here at the shed. Uh, like I said, we have to put the uh, uh, gutter system up and get that feed in, but uh, really happy how it turned out today. Uh, awesome weekend to be up here working at the farm and homestead. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see where we're going with this. Um, you know, appreciate everyone's support for tuning in, checking these things out. Um, if you like what you're seeing, give us a like, um, follow us, uh, you know, it really supports us to see those numbers go up. Um, it makes it, you know, worthwhile to everything we got going on and comment too. Um, I'd love to see those comments. Uh, I learn a lot from them. Uh, it makes me think in a different directions a lot of times too. So I uh, hope you like what you're seeing out here. And, uh, you know, once again, Andy from 45 North Farm and uh, y'all have a great day.